So now we are in Adobe Premiere Pro. And these is our two clips. Move the time indicator between these two clips. Then go to project panel and create a new adjustment layer. And drag it over the second clip. Now we need to cut six frames on the adjustment layer. So hold on shift button, then click on right arrow key. Then five frames will go forward. Now release the shift button and click right arrow key. Then one frame will go forward. Now cut here, click Ctrl plus K, and delete the unwanted part. Now go to Effects Panel, and search here Replicate, and apply it on the adjustment layer. Now you'll see that, it'll duplicate the clip. However, I want to duplicate it once more. So on the Effects Control Panel, under the Replicate, make the count up 3. Again go to the Effects Panel, now search here Mirror and apply it on the adjustment layer. In the effects control panel, under the mirror effect, change the reflection angle to 90 degree. Now change the Y position, until the ends meet in the center. Or you can use arrow key, to make it perfectly. Now do the same thing, apply the mirror effect once more. And this time, I'm gonna use minus 90 degrees. Again change the Y position, until the top line disappears. So now I've removed all the vertical lines, and now I'm gonna do the same thing, to remove horizontal lines. Let's add the mirror effect again, and this time change the reflection angle 360 degrees. And change the X position to remove the horizontal line. The last time add the mirror effect. Now make the reflection angle 180 degrees. Again change the X position to remove the last line and then you should have a smooth center frame. So now add another adjustment layer, right on top. Go to the effects panel, and search for transform. Add this effect on the top adjustment layer. Put the time indicator, center of the cut. Then go to effects control panel, under the transform effect, head over the scale parameter, and click the stopwatch icon, to add a keyframe. Now I'm gonna move left 6 frames. Now move the keyframe here. Then back to the center. Then I'm gonna move 6 keyframes to the right. Then change the scale 300. Open the scale drop down menu. Now here adjust the velocity of this effect. Make sure the time indicator, center of the cuts. Then change the curves, something like this. Create a bit of mountain peak. Make sure peak is hitting at the center of the cuts. Uncheck the use composition shutter angle. And change the shutter angle 360 degrees. We are done. Now let's delete the unwanted part of the top adjustment layer. Cut 6 frames from each sides. And delete the unwanted part of this adjustment layer. Let's preview this. and render it for better preview. And now you can add whoosh sound effects. And you get free whoosh sound effects pack in the description. So that's it, it's very simple and smooth zoom transition. Now let's see how to save as a preset. Select the bottom adjustment layer, and mark the replicate and all mirror effects. Then right click, save presets, let's call it main. Now select scale, and hit OK. Do the same thing with top adjustment layer. Select the transform effect, right click, save presets. Let's call it zoom in. Select scale, then click OK. Now go to the effects panel, and you can get there, under the presets bin. Now if I delete these are animation. And again add a new adjustment layer. And cut 6 frames like this and duplicate it and extend the six frames so now we are gonna use our presets select main preset and put it bottom adjustment layer and select zoom in preset apply it on the top adjustment layer 
Then we play back. And that's it. We have our transition made. So this is really cool. So now you might be thinking is it hard to do the zoom out? But it's actually not. So select the bottom adjustment layer, simply move it on the other side. And select the top adjustment layer. Open the transform drop down menu. Then switch the place on the keyframes. And that's it, so now we have our zoom out animation. Let's save it, as a preset. And call it zoom out. So now you have these zoom in and out transitions, in your presets. But if you think, it's hard to do, then you can download these presets under the description. So, thanks for watching, have a good day.